Defensive lineman and don't get a right tackle in free agency, then here's a guy that I think they could get in round five. He's projected in round five. His name is Joey Fisher. Now, no, he's not. Um, he's not. He's not related to Eric Fisher. So I don't think he is. At least he played at um, Shepherd University. Look it up, Shepherd University in West Virginia. It's a actually a D two division, but he was an All American. So he was one of the best players to come out of a D two school. Um, the only, so my scouting report of him and he's projected to go in the day five, the, the, I mean, sorry, round five of the NFL draft, Joey Fisher. Um, he's a very strong dude. He's six, five, 322 pounds. Now I tried to look up what his 40 time was because what the 40 hours like to do, they like to get guys who are slightly smaller, but can move and are fast. Right. Um, I think. If you're Joey Fisher, you're 6'5", 322 pounds. It's really, if he does attend the combine, which he, if he were smart, yes, he would, because he's a player from a small school. And so he needs to make himself a little bit more known. If he does uh, uh, attend the combine, then right tackle Joey Fisher, we're going to be able to see what his, um, what his 40 time is so I don't we don't have a 40 time right now but if he's 322 pounds and can move and has a pretty fast 40 time then the 49ers then I would say great but 49ers right tackles at least have to be able to move they have to be a little bit smaller and a little bit faster so my thing with him is you have to he he if he were to go to the NFL and be a starting right tackle he has to drop weight, maybe get down to like 290, 300 instead of 322 pounds. And I mean, I, I look at his film, right? He was a three year, he, he started three years. He's a senior, so he's experienced. He started three years at this college. Um, and he can, and he's a big dude. He's a big dude. But one thing that I saw is, He's a really good run blocker because he's powerful and he mauls people, but not very good at like, he's not very mobile because he's a huge dude. So like if he can cut some weight, maybe get a little bit more mobility, then he could maybe run the Kyle Shanahan offense and I could see him being in this offense. But right now it's like, he's going to have to drop some weight, uh, but we'll see what he can do at the combine. Let me know, guys, because my camera is, I mean, from my end, it looks like it's tweaking here at the top. It's like blinking five. I don't know what's going on. So let me know if that's an issue with you guys on your end. But, um, yeah, I mean, I think he's a guy who you could take a flyer on round five, and he's a small school dude. The 49ers are known for getting these guys who are not known, um, unknown guys, later round picks. But guys like people like guys like Joey Fisher are even more determined because they know, okay, I came to I, I went to a small school and I don't have very many um, teams looking at me. So I have to work my ass off to get recognized in the NFL. So if he, if he can if he can work his ass off, maybe he'll work his ass off and gain a starting job in the NFL. Um, but yeah, very intriguing pros pros prospect. Look him up, right tackle.